In this video, I am going to demonstrate how to create patterns using Photoshop's 2021 pattern preview feature. Start with a canvas size of 1080 by 1080 pixels at 300 dpi. Go to View, Pattern Preview. This is the new feature everyone's excited about because anything outside of this outline will be duplicated across for viewing in full screen. I am going to place my first asset onto the background, a donut in PNG format that I found online. The reason for this is because I'm designing a pattern for a bakery's updated product packaging. By color picking this brown tone and reducing it to something lighter, it can act as fill for the background. I am going to position two donuts diagonally, with one being slightly smaller. Then I will change the color of it to blue by using the hue saturation adjustment layer and linking it so it doesn't have an effect on the rest of the composition. Followed by adding a new layer above the background and setting up a basic brush with 100% hardness. So I can plot dots using the two prominent colors, pink and blue, that I color picked once again from the donuts. I will finish by reducing the opacity down to 30% so it doesn't overpower the focal point. And the last part is to add branding. In this case, there is no logo, so I am going to type out the company's name using a handwritten font. With the addition of a subtle drop shadow to increase overall visibility. Looks great. Make sure to save your document so that you can make changes at any point. Then go to Window. Patterns. In here, we can click the plus icon to define everything we created into one pattern. And that's it. All that's left to do now is transfer it across. If you're creating something simple, such as a background, you'll be able to locate your pattern in the blending options under the pattern overlay tab. I want to see my design on packaging, so I'll locate the layer mask on my mockup, select it, and go to Window, Patterns. By clicking on your design once, a pattern fill layer will be added. Additionally, double clicking on its corresponding thumbnail in the layers panel will give you access to angle and scale settings. If you need inspiration or would rather just download a pattern, I'll leave a link to an online resource for you to check out. On top of that, a link to where you can find product mockups such as the one I used in this tutorial. And this was Design Dummy.